firstly, this dwarf runs up to you, Bodger, and he's going to attack you. Let's see. I'll, I'll, uh, these two Oi. run to the closest guy, which is Baradun. These guys go to attack you. This uh, farmer smacks his horse on the butt, and it goes it goes jeeing out of the uh, the castle gate and runs off, so that he got the room to run up to You're the welcome. armored guard. <laughs> nice. Uh, this lady with a crossbow on top of the tower here, she's going to take a shot at the armored guy as well. These two turn in and go for Greg. Uh, wow. These two will go for Brielle. This guy's going to stay where he is. I and feel like sh where they are. shit's turned bad real quick. Can, can we stretch yeah, this, this one engagement out to eight episodes? Because I feel like we're <laughs> all going to die here. Yeah, no, we probably are. Roger, that's a 15 to hit. What's your AC? Uh, 13. 13, so that's uh, higher than or greater, uh, equal to or greater than that, so it hits and does six damage. Oh, this Lord. Little dwarf runs up and just poof, right in the neds. Ooh. Ooh, God. Oh, God. Ow. Bring um, the to 40. Oh, my giant spot. Baradun. I don't have a lot of health. I don't have a lot of health. Baradun, that's a 13 and a 20 to hit. Ah! So you take. <laughs> oh, shit! I should mention that you have a spell called Shield, which is a reaction. So you can give yourself an extra 5 AC. So you're about raising to it from you? 10 to 15. Now, can well, I, you could block one of those. If can, you I, can I have done and Rage? It lasts for a, a whole round until your next turn. Okay, can I have Shield. Be before this all happened, could I have done Rage? Or had to wait for my you have to turn? wait, to wait for your turn. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to use my Shield. So you use one of your spells to cast shield, one of them misses, the other one manages well, to strike it through. It's level one. So it's level one, yes, yeah, so just like take, take that off, cool. Uh, so you take six points of damage. <laughs> um, your armoured guy, he, ooh, natural 20, so that means I roll, uh, you oh. get double the damage. Jeez. So wow. what's his AC? Because I rolled a 19 Things have and turned out poorly 20. very quickly. So the really armoured guy is the same AC as me. Uh, it says on his thing, AC 15. 15, yeah, sweet. Uh, oh. So both of those hit, so he takes 18 points of damage. Oh, wow. Ooh, crap. Okay. Um, so he's... And then Greg, two of them go for you. We're going we're, we're gonna to have trouble. That's a 5 to hit, which will miss, and an 18 to hit, which will hit. Oh, so you take dear. 6 points of damage to you. 6 points, okay. Yep. Briel? Yeah. Oh, God. Two Help. guys go for you. So we're not, def we can't defend these? These are just, these are just... No, this is on their turn. They're just attacking you us. Get wow. What to do on your turn. Uh, so Brielle, these? both of them will seconds. miss, so I rolled a 7 and a 9. Thank you very so much! Brielle's got a, a uh, wooden shield and just is more agile and whatnot. So she manages uh, to uh, uh, avoid uh, it. Uh, yeah. Dodging. Yeah. Brielle, can Greg. you save us all, please? <laughs> Greg, it is now your turn. You can retaliate. Oh, okay. As an artificer, you can take a bonus action to command him to do something. Yeah, I think I'm going to take a bonus action uh, for him to do something. He will do it on, after your turn, imme okay. immediately after you. Okay, great. Dance battle. So I can... I can attack and use one of these spells, or just one. No, of these you, you have one action, one movement, and one bonus action okay. every round. Well, I can't. I probably can't move anywhere. You could it, run it, away. You, uh, you could run away, but if you ever leave somebody's combat range, they yeah. get they get an attack of opportunity, yeah. which means they get a free attack on your turn. Uh, I feel unless, like that's unless something. Unless you take the disengage action, which means you carefully walk back with, with, without I giving them an option. Can I disguise self? Like you, they hit me once, and I'm like. You, you, you could, <laughs> but I'll tell, you, I'll tell you, you that they probably know who you are, being that they're currently this close attacking, me. attacking you. So it wouldn't be advisable. It wouldn't be advisable. Um, okay, well, I feel like... You could shock and grasp one of them, yeah, which would allow you to Yeah, that's what I'm leaning towards, away. actually. They, uh, let's see. These guys, so all, these guys of, all of us are like, I don't know what to do! <laughs> yeah. These guys are wearing metal, so shock and grasp gets advantage, because it's an electricity let's thing. Let's do a shock and, and grasp. <laughs> Alright, so which one? This guy closest to you? Closest to me. Alright, so roll your d20. Unless he has one. to... Nice. Is it a so that's going to miss. So you reach out. Oh, oh yeah! But, 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 but with, oh. with him having metal on, he, you get advantage, which means you get to roll again and take the higher of the oh, two numbers. Oh, thank God, Alan. Yeah. Roll better. 17! That's going to yes. hit. All right, well so roll your damage of shock and grasp. It says on it, uh, I think it's a D8, I think. Oh, yeah. Does it say? Yeah. 1D8 lightning damage, and he loses his reaction, which means he can't it's take an attack of you. D8 here, yep. Yep. Okay. So he takes six. six points of damage. Nice. All right. So he takes six. Uh, he's now got no reaction, so if you wanted to move away, you could. Um, but there's not a lot of places. Yeah, you could no, run. there's not a lot of places, but I feel like it's something Greg would do. Can I? So I can't throw down grease right now. That, that no, that, you've you've done you've your action. Done shocking grasp. I'm gonna run away a little bit because yeah, this place is freaking. That way's probably best because if you run this way, these guys get to attack you. Yeah, right that way. Oh, oh and the yellow movement. What? Yep. Right. So you've got 30 feet of movement, which is the yellow stick, effectively. Okay. Uh, yep. You'd have Bounce. to climb over this cart, so you could get into this corner here. All right, let's do it. <laughs> climber over the, the climber over the fruit <laughs> veg stall. That's a good idea. All right, Baradun, you're up. And then, portal and then, away! Oh, do I get my, my, uh, my this guy. Baradun, you use your staff and portal away! And you see it crackle, but as soon as it's crackling after the staff, portal it's away. dissipating I'm as well. I'm yelling out from behind the cart. Let's try that again. <laughs> portal <laughs> away! I'm yelling out from it. behind the cart. What about my Iron Defender? I was promised he was given a turn as well. That's right. So you got a <laughs> bonus. What did you want him to do? 
Uh, just he <laughs> turns, turns, big turns, ass turns around and this smacks guy. this guy. Yeah, so yeah. He looks attack roll, it says at nice. the bottom, I believe. Um, Bash. Bash plus four. Plus four, yep. So you, you roll your d20 and add four. That's one here. It's always your d20. There you oh, go, natural 20. 20. So 24 definitely hits, so you've got a... Um, 1d8 nice plus 2, but instead it's 2d8 plus 2, so you get to roll this twice and plus 2 to it. Amazing. Okay. What are we getting? Do well, 3. three Is he going to bash his face in? Oh, three, 3 and a 2 plus seven. 2, so 7 total to nice. that guy. He hadn't taken any damage yet. 7 total. All right. He's not looking well, but he's, he's standing up. Damn. Uh, then it is. Then it was you. Sorry. So you're portaling. You're portaling again. You can't move your arm fast enough to get the portal to open. <laughs> 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 All right. So what? Back to bloody Temple of Calibor. So you you spend your turn doing that. <laughs> um, okay. I'm gonna magic missile. All right. The two guys here. Cool. So I'd actually, and just because I'm extra afraid, I'm gonna use twin spell. Oh, nice. So nice. So you uh, you. Oh, actually, no, Magic Missile, uh, Twin Spell has to be a single target spell, like Firebolt, which you can twin. Damn it. So you could twin Firebolt if you wanted. Does Firebolt, will Firebolt do more damage? That would hit both of them, it does a D10 damage. Oh, yeah, let's do, let's do Twin Firebolt. All right, so That's you, so you spend a sorcery point to twin Firebolt, you finger gun it. <laughs> point blank fire at both of these guys, so roll the attack for both of them. For love of God, roll the 20! 14. So, so that'll hit this one, plus your modifier is going to be enough. Yep, so cool. You can roll your damage for this guy, or you can roll for the other guy and then roll the damage at the same time if you want. Roll uh, your so damage. Roll the damage. Is that the yeah. 10? Yeah, it's the 10. I can't see a 10 on it. Three. It's because the 10 is a zero. So he takes three fire damage. Excellent. And then the other guy, 20. Nice. Natural 20. Nice, Whoa. so you roll this twice. You rolled so many 20s. And nine, and two. Uh-oh. All right. So this guy... <laughs> He starts screaming, and then he turns around, ah, and he runs away. So technically, you could take an attack of opportunity on him if you wanted, because he is leaving your melee range. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I, can, I can literally do a spell, can't I? I could do that as a spell. Um, I'm going to firebolt him again. <laughs> <All right. laughs> he's, he's, like, he's like, oh, I'm like, oh, oh, you stupid piece of shit. He's on fire already. I'm going to throw another one at him. Aggressive. 19. 19 will hit, yeah. Uh, do your damage. Come on, kill him. Two, damn it. Damn it. So it takes him two. It hurts him. The total is it, he, with that, <laughs> it hits him in the back. <laughs> he just land, lands on the floor and slides. Yes. All right. Is it, is it hey, dead? guys. Is it, is it dead? Have any of you guys killed the dude already? <laughs> have any of you guys killed the dude already? I love it because you're still being attacked, but you're like <laughs> bragging. Like, have you, hey, guys, you guys doing? Have, have you killed anyone? <laughs> <Someone's> <laughs> like, have you guys killed someone? Have you? Because I just firebolted a guy in the back, and he is dead. I've killed someone. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's yeah. like, ah! <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. If I use this, the fact that we've already been detected, is that is that mask passed without a trace? That would not work right now. Damn, it helps you when you're, it helps you when you're stealthing it? through a city or something. Stealthing through that dungeons. was my... I'm going to use Fog Club because I love it. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a good right. idea. That's a, what is it? It's a, it out. It says 20 so I've got a fan that doesn't help me. I create. <laughs> Go for it. A 20 foot radius sphere of fog centered on a point within range. And where are you going to center it? Bodger, uh, look at me right now. Is this is where I'm standing. <laughs> this is, this is the, where this is I'm standing. Well, this I've got negative one thing. intelligence. So you, do you I'm, want to be in the fog or out of the fog? I want to be in the fog. You want to be in the fog? Yeah, why and not? Just in the fog or like in the center? Right in the middle of it. Right in the center. All right. So throw it at your feet. So have a look. Everything. This guy's on the outskirts of the fog. Biel, it's not helping because it's my turn next. These two are on the outskirts of the fog. I'll put this here as a reminder that this is basically the limit of the fog, and everything else is completely. <laughs> you're basically all suffer the condition blinded. Oh great! Great, uh, thanks, Biel. You're welcome. Good. Now it is my the turn, allies' so turn. Wait, who, can I use my bonus? Uh, yes, you can. Can I turn into a wolf for long? You certainly for can. Nice. So, Riel, we don't have the budget for you to turn into a wolf. <laughs> Real uses. Do you use like your hands or a staff or what um, do you use to cast magic? I do this, like in that. <laughs> oh, genie. I dream of genie. <laughs> no. when, when we, when we do the recreation she, of this, we actually we're going to dress boom, you up like a wolf. A wolf. <laughs> so we're going to put a PNG image of your head loosely <laughs> trapped to your face. Can it be without? No, no, like a PNG, but it, the little grid hasn't disappeared. Oh, as long as you make the sounds going. Like, <laughs> So, so when you're attacking blind, you get disadvantage, but when you're being attacked blind, you uh, you grant advantage. So it's, uh, it cancels it out, and it's just a regular cool. attack. So she knows that the guy was somewhere in front of oh, her. She takes a strike. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. Oh, real look at me! Um, oh she strikes the guy in front of her, and then it's Bodger's turn. Hey, let's. 
some shit up. Right. You're, you're currently blinded. You have a rough idea of where the bad rage. guys are. I am slightly to your left. Rage. I am slightly I, to your left. I'm going to a rage. I'm cowering. <laughs> you guys all hear this just, yeah. just emanating we're, through fog. We're in the fog and all we can hear is... <laughs> I'm bloody gonna do... Uh, Reckless attack as well! Awesome, so you get advantage on the attack, but you grant advantage to them when they attack back. Okay. So you roll this twice. I'm gonna, can I, is that, can I, only, can I only attack one person at a time? Yes, or, one okay, person at a so time. Let's go, this guy! The guy in front of you, the little dwarf, punch you in the nuts. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter, you can't yeah. see him anyway. Do your thing. He's <laughs> just attacking everybody in this radius here. <laughs> spinning. Just spinning. Like 14, 14 uh, plus, because I'm, I'm doing reckless well, attack. Uh, you can do it again because it's and, reckless. And go, uh, okay, so 14. 14 plus your modifier is going to be enough the to four, hit. So roll the damage. So, the uh, is it the same? No, hang on. Uh, no, no, so four. your your pan is a d4. It's a d4. Plus 4. 3. Uh, seven, 3 plus 4. 7 damage. Seven. You, you guys hear <laughs> Oh, that's the sound of a dwarf being hit in the head. Um, that's the sound of a dwarf dying. That's Suffering severe action. brain damage. Do you want uh, anything as a bonus? Um, no. I grapple him as well. All right, so roll a strength athletics check. So that's this one here. If you have advantage on it, it says um, He does. He's got plus one, six on it. Plus. One plus six. six. Does, he's got one, advantage. But you do have it? advantage because oh, yeah, raging. Good. Yeah, four, four plus, plus six. six. <laughs> well, so ten, and he rolled a natural twelve plus modifiers, so he beats you with the grapple. Okay. So you try uh, and grab him, but he's just you can't quite work out yeah. where he is in the fog. The All right, oh. back to the top of the round. Uh, you hear from above you the uh, balcony of this tavern open. Oh shit! <laughs> no, not voice, more. And a voice says, "All right, that's enough. Oh, we do not need to kill anyone here today. Oh. Come into the tavern, and we shall talk." Oh, um, goodness. Okay, this is a little bit awkward guy who I can't see. I literally <laughs> just killed one of you guys. Yes, that's why I'm calling it to a close. You are stronger I'm sorry. than my men of used to. So, yeah. Awkward. Yep. <laughs> oh, you killed a guy. So, <laughs> I just I killed, really you killed so him. So you guys, you, guys head, him. you guys head inside to the tavern. Um, I, where you, is where the you wolf see, in a bar allowed to be there? They have a new You can you can you can stay as a wolf if you wish. You can uh, stay yeah. What do you want? What do you want? I can two hours. Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, are you just in the corner? They've got like one of those dog bowls, yeah. like like and most front door. cafes. And we bar, leave. And <laughs> we leave Brett at the front, tied to a lamppost. <laughs> <laughs> you see a, a <laughs> you see coming down the stairs a short, lean human in his fifties with dark hair and a neat crimson goatee. He's dressed impeccably in an ankle-length kaftan. Ooh. My name is Falaster Fisk. Uh, what do you want from me? Well, I've forgotten actually. <laughs> <laughs> so Raya steps you forward and says, uh, "Excuse me, sir. I I'm sorry to bother you. You obviously uh, like your privacy, um, but I was sent by Arabelle with a note and a box." She hands it over. He reads the note. Take the box. Don't hit it with a frying pan. <laughs> I tried it already, and it's not a good idea. <laughs> Very well. You. And he points to Raya. You can return to El Terrell, tell Arabelle my debt to her is paid. The rest Goodbye, of you... Goodbye, man, woman, child thing. Raya says, oh, thank Bye, you no. so much for your help. I, 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 I really must go and she... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She leaves. Yeah, um, <laughs> the rest of you, I will, I will help you if you help me. There is an item I wish to acquire, and you find it for me, I will help you open the box. Well, I mean, uh, we, 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 we don't really care. That's what what, what, what I want to do is go home. I feel like we're doing you a favour by Where giving you, you the box. I mean, we're starting from, no, from here. <laughs> Did man. you want to go home? Big oh, man. I just want to go home. Shut your mouth or you die. Uh, oh. <laughs> this is your option. If you find this item for me, no, no, uh, not only will I let you live, and I will help you open your box, I will pay you handsomely for it. Mm. Will you help us go home? How does 500 home? gold sound? Sounds pretty good, although I can't speak. Where are you so from? <laughs> you're, you're outside still. <laughs> we are Just from Azerum. <laughs> have you heard Shut of quiet. it? I have not. Azerum. I will find out where it is and I will find a way to send you home. That's uh, you well, want. it's Azerum. It's Azerum, but I beg to agree to disagree. What's your character's name again? Brielle. Brielle. Quiet, so, Brielle! <laughs> Bad dog! So you will accept this quest? Um, are you going to help us get home? I will help you uh, to the best of my abilities. And what do we have to do? That Sorry. sounds very, very... Find for me the shield of Gargoth. Why do you want it, though? 
That's what I want to know. Mm. Well, that that make a nice a addition question. to my wall. That's, yeah, that's a good that's question. What they all yeah. say. <laughs> it was forged from pure mithril, and it's inlaid with scores of tiny gems that form the face of a snarling beast. Are that you was... evil? <laughs> you don't just ask someone if they're evil. Because I attack you in public, it does yes. not make me evil. Uh, because hey, I hey. because I hide my name from the people around does not make me evil. I'm gonna do a, because a, I send strangers on death defying quests does oh not no, actually Wait, probably. I'm, I'm not gonna, that I say I'm, it out loud. I'm, gonna, I'm probably evil. I'm gonna get out my staff and see if you're evil. <laughs> you get out your do you, do you text, <laughs> did, yep. test something detect yep. evil and good or something? Yep. Are you, I like that. Do you have Straight a spell point. for that? Oh uh, no, I don't. I just want to use Arcana. Oh yeah, I got. I you got, can you can make an insight check. Uh, insight check. Based. Here we go. I've, which I've got a plus three on. Yeah. I've got a three, so yeah, I, I like so Six total, it. you can gather all the things that he's outwardly saying anyway. He's, he's he said he was evil, guys. Evil. I'm going to use identify yeah. even though it's for objects. I'm just going to try it on a, on a <laughs> creature. It on <laughs> so you cast identify. Yeah. Uh, how do you cast it? So as an artificer, you cast spells using uh, items and objects. Get a little mirror, uh, my, yeah, yeah, I'm going to get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Little, I've got out. a microscope. <laughs> you grab it out of your inventory. Yeah. You look through it. You're identifying him. Yeah. You can see the pause on his face. <laughs> you can see the micro movements of his face as he's. I'm sorry. So it seems like he's telling Wait, me. Don't look like. It seems like he's being open oh. and honest yeah. about being an evil guy. <laughs> That's his. Great. Happy, he's happy of revealing. Happy telling you. I wish I had my of revealing. Oh, did he say? Blatantly? Good God, he this is, is going to take is, twelve yeah. hours. I'm, a, All right. I'm confirming. <laughs> <He's> Let's continue. <laughs> Well, uh, he's evil, but do we just do it anyway? You, you have no choice. We I seem will kill to have no choice. Well, uh, it is a powerful artifact, the Shield of Gargoth. It is once adorning, adorning the arm of the legendary Duke Tithkar Ilahun. I have reason to believe it's buried with him in the pit beneath his old estate. Fetch me the Shield of Gargoth, and I will not only help you open your box, but I will let you leave with your lives. We will there be bad guys in this pit, or is it? Probably not. It's a pit. We're okay, great. Dead people. Okay, perfect. Mm. Perfect. I, I take his word for it. <laughs> take his word I for feel it. that we shouldn't take his word for it. Can, can I reckon we, we can just leave our weapons behind. They're th quite this heavy. is a lovely <laughs> inn. May we stay here for a short while? After the after you fetch me back the shield by tonight. Can yeah. we do it now? We're moving her. <laughs> I, I rest. I, I'm gonna have a short rest in his office. <laughs> <laughs> he, you can try, but I'm he's gonna got at least sixteen people around him with crossbows and weapons. Little nappy nap in the who corner. will ask you to piss off. <laughs> okay, Greg can you please out. point us in the direction of the pit? That we <laughs> He's shaking me away. I would have no, 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 Wait, okay, I so missed can't. the mouthy. Right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. These, These two. Is God, this? don't I know it? Just sitting here as a dog, like. Yeah. Brielle's, being, had... Brielle's being a very naughty girl outside. I have. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Here, girl. Here, girl. Here, girl. Here, girl. Ruff, let's go. Ruff, Not much ruff, longer. Ruff. We'll just be about in two minutes. Ruff. Can I get? Can I get a ride on Brielle? No. I'm a tiny wolf. How? How can we get there? Point us in the direction. You have to go to the estate of Duke Valantha. She's now, she is now owning the state uh, that he once uh, li oh, lived well, in. Whereabouts is that? Right, we'll She's go. in the upper city in Baldur's Gate proper. Once no. there, you enter the sewers, you get under the estate, so you find the pit, you mm. find the shield, you bring it back. Is there some, oh, that's a lot of information. Is there like a, a marker that just points the direction? <laughs> and so I don't, and I can just kind of just follow go it? Go in through the gates. <laughs> Ask anyone where the estate of Duke Van Thamper is. And yeah, but like on, on my mini map, <laughs> is there like a marker oh, that Christ just sake, constantly yes. points somewhere? Here, get him a map. Can I? <laughs> yeah, if you know the guys, guys, mini map. The guys yeah, comes out with a map, names. gives you a map. There we go. No way, right, guys. This in. way. Follow this way. Here we go. Good, good work, Butcher. That's smart. Uh, I like it. Big man, before you leave, and he gives you a, 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 an improved weapon. This is a cast iron frying pan that's much sturdier, much stronger, and does a d6 damage instead of a d4. You seem to be handy <laughs> with a frying pan. I like it. Now get out. I like so, that. Thank you. So you can change that to a d6. Change that to a d6. I so you, uh, you you head into Baldur's Gate proper. Uh, you approach the city gate, noticing the two guards flanking, uh, each with a flaming fist an emblem on their chest. They watch you as you pass through the gate. They're not stopping you, but they're just staying vigilant. Mm. Uh, and you notice a fog-shrouded city bustling with life and a symphony of sounds and smells. Merchants are lining the streets, lining all manner of wares fresh from the boats that land in this port. You ask the nearby person, where's the estate of Duke Valantha, and she, uh, she, she um, sends you that way. Uh, as you arrive outside this estate, you see an enormous three-story marble manor with six carved pillars along the front, large oak double doors in the centre, and a stained glass window on either side. This a, isn't as nice as the Temple of Carlum. <laughs> oh my god. There's a long driveway and shut up about the gardens. We don't care oh, about cheers. it. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, a stagecoach rumbles down the streets towards you, and uh, as it's approaching the iron gates into this manor, 
Uh, there's an old beggar man walks out in front of the horses. She opens the she opens the curtain, uh, and there's a there's a face that could curdle milk. A, a woman in her late sixties. She leans out. Jacob, why the unrequested stop? And she gets out of her cabin, and she's dressed in finery, but she doesn't seem to suit it. Her arms could like crush a man's skull. She seems to be a hard hard labourer all of her life, mm-hmm. but she is seemingly the duke now. Uh, sorry, ma'am. The beggar uh, stepped out in front of him. She walks over to the beggar and backhands him, strong oh, enough to lift, wow. he, lift him from Ooh. his feet temporarily and slam Ooh, him down in the gutter. Oh, she's a strong Oh, fear the fall. <laughs> fall, on, fall. The, on the guy. Yeah. If you want to, you, how, do you, how do you cast it? What item do you use? Uh, just a big pillow. Big pillow. You throw a big pillow out <laughs> and he lands on top of it. Make, make off a spell used. Oh, yeah. Good job. <laughs> what a nice on, guy. On you're, yeah. using one of your, you're using one of Mark your spells, one of spells to save a bigger man. That's really All right. Actually, Mac of Two is used this identify as well. This will be one of those moments where, where I put it, sorry? Mac of Two used identify and further fall, so you've used, so two, of, write it down here. You've used two of these guys. Okay, so two of one. your three spell slots. Nice. All right, so uh, she turns back to the driver. Next time, run him down unless you want to join him in the gutter. And then she gets back in the cabin. The iron gates open and she trundles in and they close behind her. So this is uh, the very pleasant Duke Van Temper. What do you guys do? Do you find the sewers as, as told? We have been sent to go into the I want pit. a little nappy nap. <laughs> to ask if you're you can not. have a little nappy nap. You, you're in the middle of the street in Baldur's Gate. Wait, should we, we, should we, we go into the wish? sewer before? Do so we're out of sight? <sighs> Fine. Do, do whatever, I don't care. <laughs> a, l- a little nappy nap takes an hour to just sit yeah, and just yeah, do nothing. No, not here, Jake. <laughs> just not here, mate. Okay? Do whatever, do whatever. I'll just follow you guys. You're obviously <laughs> not a very good adventurer. <laughs> Let's go in. To All right. the sewer. So to the sewer. Yeah, Roger, you find the sewer great easy enough. You lift it up with your immense strength. Sorry. Uh, do you want to try the latch? No. Oh, the latch. Oh, yeah, right. A little latch there. Oh. And pff, stench of uh, very seldom cleaned sewers. <coughs> oh, oh. <coughs> this smells horrible. Yeah. Is this the only way to go? Uh, I think so. You all head down into this horrible sewer. Thankfully, there's a uh, maintenance walkway along the actual side of the sewage, so you don't have to walk in it. I'll walk in it anyway. <laughs> can, one, can one of you car- can you carry me? Is it dark? No, <laughs> no. It's no. It's 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 well enough lit through from the light that comes through the sewer okay. grates. Just chicken. Um, you make your way uh, under the estate, so you turn down one of the uh, sewage paths that goes under the actual estate, and before too long, you see a. Um, a sort of ro- broken down rubbly part of the wall that uh, bridges between the sewers and the crypt. It seems like something uh, has, not, has not been maintained and the wall has collapsed. Uh-oh. If there's one thing I know from video games, <laughs> it's that the crumbly part is the way you're meant to go. So you I don't know what wood video game is. Yeah, uh, what's yeah. a video I, game? Yeah, I, what is a what video, is game? video <laughs> game? Yes. Yeah. What do you mean? Nothing. Okay. Stay quiet. Suddenly okay. I feel very anxious. Yeah. So, uh, at this point, are you still a wolf? Yeah, no, not anymore. Not anymore. So I'm changed, just kind of to you. Use, was very useful, but hey. Um, so <laughs> you, <the> <laughs> you you find yourself in a crypt. You see that there are plaques above each sort of uh, each sort of direction to go in this crypt of the different house named. Uh, the one that you were looking for was named Ilahun from memory, and so you um, so you look for the plaque to say that. So everybody, roll an investigation check. So D20. roll a d20 and add your investigation modifier. What's that? 17 plus... Investigation is on your skills. 6 plus 2, 8. Uh, 7. 14 minus 1. 13. 7. 7. I've got, oh sorry, investigation, 22. 22, so Greg is the one to find it very quickly. Uh, You and your armoured companion who's still just dogging you wherever you go. It's really (laughs) creeping me out a little bit. (laughs) You find one right down the end, it seems to say Duke Ilhun, right above a uh, a thick wooden door uh, that is locked currently. You do have tinkering uh, uh, thieves tools, so you could try and pick the lock if you wanted. Let's attempt that. All right, so you lean down, you get your pick out, make a perception check for me. Should we check for magic? Nine, Nine, probably twelve. Nope. So twelve. Twelve. Yep, not so with the twelve, you can hear that as you as you get down to the lock, you can hear that there's faint sounds from the other side, and you listen, and it's a woman's voice, a familiar woman's voice. Oh. She uh she seems it seems to be the duke. Oh, is that that woman? The mean one. The mean yes, one. Yes, the one. Yeah. That just, she's uh, inside. Just, she's a. 
Oh, if, if she, right. we can hear her, she can probably hear us. Well, 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 well. <laughs> she, well she, she says, she, I've been patient, my lord. I continue to be patient, but the patience has a limit. Our deal means nothing if I don't achieve the title of Grand Duke until I'm 80 or something. I was supposed to have it by now, and yet every week that moves on, I have to bear that insufferable little man telling me what to do. If I had the power, if I had your power, my lord, please, Gargoth, all I ask is your end of our bargains. I don't think we should be here in this. I think we definitely should. <coughs> it's, for, it's for that dude who it's attacked got gems us. On it. You want to give it to him? The, yeah. Why? <laughs> so we can help so us. So because he's evil. Oh. Oh no. Huge thanks to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring this preview episode of their upcoming campaign, Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. If you want to find out more information, it's all below. And next episode is coming soon.